demo today are uh, a, a product we have called Liquid Metal. It is a part of our product line in our urban paint. Um, it is a, a mixture of um, water and plant oil, and uh, it has great properties like the old-fashioned oil and that it has great adhesion, excellent self-leveling, and it dries to a very hard, durable surface. Then it also has the properties of being a water-based paint and that it has low odor and also is water cleanup. Uh, we also have this available in a variety of vintage metallic colors uh, that can create that uh, industrial chic look on a lot of different types of uh, furniture and um, cabinetry or tables, anything in your home, uh, you can add this little bit of an urban flair to. Now today I'm going to show you the application using our kit that we have uh, available. Um, this kit was designed for uh, like painting larger surfaces. So um, although this isn't a huge surface, we're going to actually use this kit. Otherwise you would just paint it with a brush on the sides and um, through the ornate detailing. Um, so I'm going to uh, actually start this now and put uh, one coat of uh, paint here. So I have this already in the tray. This uh, particular color is called, um, it's our liquid metal or um, gun, called gun metal, the color. I've already applied one coat um, on top of this. This was actually just a, a, a standard black unit somebody was throwing in the garbage so I picked it up and I'm going to uh, uh, make it in a metallic metallic color paint. So I've applied one coat and I did notice that it had a little bit of ridges and bumps so I did just give it a light scuff with some sandpaper just to knock those highs off and now I'm going to apply the, the next coat. So out of the kit um, you have a tray the tray liner, the roller handle, and uh, the roller refill. So we simply, again, you want to apply a fair amount of paint, especially onto a horizontal finish here. You want to be able to get uh, a fair amount of uh, paint on there. And make sure you load up your roller, because um, you want it to be able to flow out nicely. When you've got a long stretch, you want to make sure that you have complete coverage with the roller. You're not going to try to be spreading it with this brush. So this brush is what I call a leveling brush. It's in the kit. Um, it's a Taflon brush and uh, not ideal for painting with, but it is great. A very soft edge just to create, level out that top surface. There we go back. Just let that, again, going from end to end, just leveling that out, filling up your roller again. Again, going, making sure every bit of the surface is covered with the roller. And then take the brush. Now I did actually apply, uh, I actually wet the brush out a little bit got some water and just wet the brush a little bit so it's not pulling on the surface it's actually a little bit damp so it's not per se wet but it is a little damp okay so you take your strokes from one end to the other and as it dries it looks a little milky right now but once it dries and all the uh, metallic flakes find their place and settle down in the surface, it actually uh, will pick up uh, quite a bit of a sheen and you'll get that nice metallic reflection off the surface. It's not an in-your-face metallic, it's just a very nice uh, soft metallic actually. But it gives you a really neat face. So you see how easy this is, this is just so easy to do a nice large surface. Painting uh, with a brush across these surfaces is a challenge to get it, uh, the brush to apply it uh, evenly. So, you know, a roller can actually 
help with that and it gets the paint on level and then you just uh, flatten it out with the brush. So uh, I, the other type of brush you would use, uh, again, it's just the cottage paint brush and we would just do these just around these edges and again just lightly putting it on down these sides. You don't want any drips or anything like that. So you would be applying on these surfaces a little lighter. So two coats has covered this. If you, uh, if you have a, a funny color that would be underneath, whether it was painted a, a white or a, you know, a green color, something like that, you may want to apply a color that would be closer. So maybe a, put a gray uh, color underneath. These paints are made for the, you know, to have the effect of creating the metallic. They're not so much uh, made for coverage. So even though they, this one's done it over black in two coats, again, I don't really matter if the black, I don't really care if that black shows through because it gives it a little bit of that strie look. Anyway, I will carry on painting this and I will show you the end result uh, when we get it all completed. And you can see uh, how nice and level this, uh, this flattens out barely any brush marks at all and uh, all you can see is the slight wood grain that was in the wood to begin with. So again that'll take about uh, you know a couple hours to dry. I would leave it again a little bit longer if you can. Uh, it allows the paint to cure for each level uh, the more time you give it in between. Once you start packing the levels up uh, the coats on faster it does uh, give you a bit of blockage there so it takes longer to cure. So uh, if you want a bit faster cure time, especially like on a kitchen table, you might wait the duration of uh, painting one coat one day, one coat the next. Okay, so we'll be back and you'll see the final production of this uh, transforming just this solid black unit to a nice metallic, back. A metallic look. Take 54. Well, <laughs> welcome back. We have finished our second coat on this uh, uh, piece of furniture um, and it has laid down beautifully. Um, the only thing you can see here is a little bit of the wood grain, which actually brings back a little bit of the character. So thank you to our cottage paint product line uh, with our liquid metal. Uh, you can easily transform any piece of furniture or cabinetry uh, with a little bit of a metallic flare. So thank you for watching Cottage Paint Live, and till next time.